What's up everybody? Welcome to day two of climbing the mountain. As you can see in the background, the weight is already starting to peel off a little bit day by day, so that is awesome. On that topic, I wanted to talk about what I ate for day two to start off with. Uh, I ate a sausage, McMuffin, and a hash brown from McDonald's. Unfortunately, that did not survive the car ride for me to take a picture of, so I apologize for that. I've got to exercise a little bit of discipline. Um, going forward. Um, for lunch, I just ate the can of SpaghettiOs. Nothing major there, just something to throw on the stomach. And then finally for dinner, we ate uh, a bowl of bow tie pasta with uh, just butter. Um, so that'll be it for the day's eating. Um, then I wanted to talk about just a couple things. Uh, first of all, I wanted to explain the channel name. I chose Climbing the Mountain for a couple of reasons. Number one, I like the Three Days Grace song, The Mountain. I think that's pretty awesome. And so that's what got it on my mind. But I think climbing the mountain represents a struggle that's going to take a lot of time and effort to overcome. And that's what this is about. We're not expecting tomorrow to wake up and be 100 pounds lighter. It's going to take a long time, but we're going to put in the work and get there. Um, that would lead me into the goal for the project. I don't want to set any weight goals. Uh, I basically broke the project into different sections. The first section is just about getting my weight and my blood pressure to an acceptable level. And then the idea for me is once we get to a point where I feel like I can hang my hat on my blood pressure, uh, I would begin weight training. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. It's one of my passions. I just don't want to start when I'm in a handicap position with my blood pressure. Um, so once we get that under control, weight training's on the docket, um, and we will chase that as far as we can. So this will not end once my weight and my blood pressure are under control. It'll just turn into another set of goals. So we have that to look forward to. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about I've just recently heard someone say this, and I wanted to share it with everybody. It's a saying that just because your car has a flat tire, it doesn't mean that you go and slash the other three tires. Meaning that just because we make a mistake, it doesn't mean that we have to fall off the wagon or abandon our efforts altogether. And this is something I'm horribly guilty of. Um, in the past, when things weren't going right and I started to cheat myself, I would kind of get like a fraudulent feeling and I would end up abandoning my efforts and I'd roll into the situation that I am today. So I wanted to talk about that and say that uh, mistakes are okay. Um, they're going to happen. It's just important that we acknowledge them. We think about why it happened, what we'll try to do differently in the future, and then we move on from them and we don't dwell on them. Um, accepting that not everything's going to be perfect all the time is very mentally liberating. Um, if, if you just accept mistakes as they come, you can move on from them much easier. Uh, no one's going to judge you from falling down and picking yourself back up. Um, what's going to take us where we want to go is persistence, just constantly attacking this thing, and then consistency, just doing it every day. So that's what this is about. And that's what we're going to try to do, but I just wanted to share that with everyone, some thoughts. Um, I am going to end on that. I had a late day, and I'm cutting this a little bit after midnight, so I will end on that. I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you in the next one.